We're in Tennessee, the Volunteer State, where these fans are going wild for the start of this game. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. From their own 26-yard line, second down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Slings it. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete. Wanted his receiver. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this. Just step and deliver and make the throw. That's a backward pass. That's a live ball. He picks it up. For the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Tennessee! Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it in distance. And he hits the PAT. Tennessee to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And down he goes at about the 41. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. From their own 41-yard line, second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's at midfield, and he's hit immediately. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. 
He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. Great job by the punter of getting the ball inside the 20 and turning over field position for his defense. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Tennessee up seven points. And he hits him hard at the two-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. There was simply no daylight on that play. The defender came in and dropped the hammer. It's second down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. Makes it to the 14. That one got him out of some danger. The offense caught a break there. Great run by this guy to get him out of the face of their own end zone. Scrambling around. Has some daylight. Brought down at the 26-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. From their own 26-yard line, it's first down. And he just gets rid of it. And they got him for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. We've got third and 12. Ball on the 24. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Tackle around the 30-yard line. Ross to punt. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Caught with room to work. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It, this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. Quick throw, and he's taken down around the 22-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. Tennessee leads it 7-0. Tennessee is up a score. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled at the 46. And 
And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. He steps out right around midfield. From the 50, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 44. Warren only gains about a yard with that catch. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. From the 44-yard line, first down. He makes it to the 42-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. And this play is number eight on the drive. Tennessee is up seven. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. And hurry up, tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 38. They'll work the right side. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Owens gets the call, and they make the stop at the 46-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. Fires out to his receiver, and he is drilled at the 41. About five yards that time on the throw. I got to give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And here's another third down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Ready, ready, 
Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. It's second and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. He's got an opening inside the 10. He makes his way out to about the 9. This is the 10th play of this drive. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. So the Aggies use their second timeout. First down, and they are very close to tying this thing up. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. Will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. So an 11 play, 81 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. We get a tie game at 7 7. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. From their own 44-yard line. First down. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He laterals. Very good tackle in space. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. We played a half. We're even at seven in this one. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 22. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. From their own 18-yard line, second down. Makes the catch, and look out, out of bounds at the 31-yard line.
He gets out to about the 32 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. He knows how to run. And he's finally taken down at the 33. So it's first and 10 after the big run. Makes it out to about the 23. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Here's the eighth play of the series. And a quick throw brought down right around the 14 yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. What a play and that is first and goal. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Right on the handoff, and they got him for a loss. It's second and goal, four yards out. Touchdown, Volunteers. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. This six-point lead will soon become seven with the extra point. It's still in the third quarter, but we've seen a great game the whole way. I wouldn't be surprised to see if these guys drive it back down the field again and tie it up. And he converts the extra point. Tennessee is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 24. Zips it to the back. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. From the 49-yard line, first down. Takes the ball right. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one.
He's at the 40, and he's taken down at the 38. From the 38-yard line, first down. Catches it, and that's all. Thomas gains about five yards on the play. And he carries the ball for a nice game. About a four-yard gain there on the quarterback draw. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 14-10, Tennessee. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. Tennessee's up by four. Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Tennessee is up four. Here's an opening. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at about the 35. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. tackled around the 35 yard line we've got third and ten ball on the 35 Set. Loop 14. Loop 14. Cut. and he's level the 39 yard line Ross is waiting for the snap. He steps out around the 28-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Slings it. He's at midfield, and they push him out at the 48. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Nice run there. 
They get about four on that keeper. Second and six. Ball on the 44. Just under three to go in regulation. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the 23. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Moss only picks up about a yard there on the counter. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 22. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, and they take the lead. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 71-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. Third down again. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And he tackles him hard at the 21-yard line. Makes it to the 11. The halfback option gets him 10 yards down the field. And this play is number eight on the drive. Under a minute left. Set, 
He tackles him for a loss. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Looks to the end zone. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Tennessee to kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. They'll bring him down at the 37. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set. And he comes in with his dime package. Slings it out and it gets tipped. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. It's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. From the 27-yard line, second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. They'll line up with five wide receivers. This one's going deep to the end zone. Almost picked off. And the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. Five wide. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down right around the 12-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 12. In the shotgun and five wide outs. Caught, and he's hit immediately. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle around the seven-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's taken down at the five-yard line.
He gets it up, and he's got it. He looked totally calm there, didn't he? He knew what he had to do, and he just drilled it. From the 25-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got a man. Watch out here. He's tackled right around the 16-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. From the 20-yard line, third down. Tackled after a decent pickup. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires out to his wideout. So the offense steps up and gets a big six points here in double overtime. And that gives them some breathing room for the time being. But I'll tell you, the way this game is being played, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this offense on the field again in a third overtime. And he tacks on the extra point. First and 10, ball on the 25. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. He makes his way out to about the nine. First down, and they are very close to tying this thing up. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds around the eight-yard line. They'll run it. He fights forward to about the seven. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. Picked off, and this one is finally over. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. Tennessee, 27, Texas A&M, 20. So that wraps things up for us, for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying.